Hello everyone, it's George and welcome back to Call of Dragons. As dedicated free to play player who played this game for more than one year, I'm excited to share some insider tips and tricks with you. Stick around and let's dive in. Today I'm going to speak about one of the oldest legendary heroes in this game, which is still really viable, really really strong and a lot of tier 5 and of course tier 4 players are using it. Uh, the legendary hero which we are going to speak today is Welin, and the reason why I want to speak about Welin is because, well, it's pretty obvious in season T1 we had two new mage heroes, which is Bertrand and Tohar, and oh, everybody thought that Bertrand and Tohar would be number one priority in terms of magic. Uh, hero pairs right uh, for this time uh, season t1 is almost done and in my opinion uh, lilia and velin is still number one damage dealer mage hero pair of course more to it is about lilia being really really strong especially awakened lilia but we should not take anything away from the Welling being really really strong mage hero and yeah, just simply because Welin is still one of the best mage heroes, it's, it would be amazing if we could speak about Season T1 Welin, where it should be used, how it should be used, and what's the preferable build uh, pattern for this amazing mage hero. Of course, as always, let's find out what's the main synergy in terms of um, Welin play kit and the skills. Uh, as always, like any other mage legendary hero, most of them actually scale damage factor is magic and 1200 uh, scale damage magic factor will be applied to the enemy of course um, uh, some freeze effect which is redu reducting the march speed of the enemies up to 20 percent the second skill is great because every skill which will give you hero skill damage deal bonus is great for mages because mages are dealing mainly magic skill damage uh, to the enemies up to 50% and March speed bonus up to 20%. Here we are reducing, reducting 20%. Here we are increasing 20% uh, March speed. The third skill is Magic Unit Crit Rate Bonus. Amazing skill. We are using skills. Uh, this skill, uh, the third skill, we, we are using skill damage factor. This skill will give us crit rate to, the, to our skill damage factor and some additional defensive stats for the Welling up to 15%. The fourth skill is Magic defense reduction 20% uh, to enemies which will allow us to deal more and more damage more skill damage factor to our enemies and also 20% uh, reduction of the march speed again and the awakening skill simply whenever you are debuffing enemies you are dealing 400 additional damage to the enemies so it's kind of 400 uh, free damage when because whenever you are playing with Welin, you of course are giving to enemies some freeze uh, because of the first skill uh, here it's reducting the 20% march speed of the enemy well basic idea of the Welin is pretty high damage uh, great um, uh, fighting skills in terms of skill damage uh, bonus in terms of crit rate uh, amazing stats amazing attribute bonuses for a fighting hero and also uh, it's um, more of a supportive type if you're gonna look at it like that because we are uh, applying 20 percent uh march speed reduction here we are uh, adding 20 percent more from the force skill and we are increasing our own uh, which means it's like an ice uh, hero um, which will slow your march speed and which will help you to deal more and more damage that's it play style uh, simply because mages are from the range the uh, like fighting from the range that applies amazingly for the Welin's play kit uh, in terms of uh, talents i wouldn't recommend to run uh, Welin as a primary hero because uh, that's not the meta right now generally for mage uh, hero pairs skill uh, talent tree is always number one priority uh, but still if you want to run Welin, uh, you have your own idea I, I will give you my own i would still go for a magic tree and uh, control uh, to the half because i i think there is some value you can get from the uh, well in uh, control abilities which are like slow and some freeze uh like you can play around with the control tree but i still think that magic tree will be the preferable choice uh with any well in primary hero players 
I won't gonna speak much about talents because um, in my view of the game, uh, Welin is better the the secondary hero than primary. So we we can uh, move to the next topic. Uh, of course, uh, hero pairs are one of the most important topic whenever we are speaking about any hero in this game. And as I have already mentioned, for Welin there is one best choice. Lilia. Lilia and Welin is the reason why I wanted to speak about Welin in general in this video. Well, Lilia and Welin is the highest damage dealer um, hero pair in terms of wars, especially uh, because of the Scorch ability, which is dealing damage to two nearby legions, and in general, Scorch is just too good, right? And in addition to that, uh, Welin will give Lilia the crit rate, the skill damage factor uh, bonuses uh, from here. You're gonna get crit rate from third skill, and also you are going to reduce the move, spent, uh, move speed of your enemies and it will be easier for them to, for you to uh, catch them and deal skill damage factor which is pretty high 1200 for Welling and of course Lilia also has 1200 uh, skill damage factor well together they are dealing a lot of damage in terms of uh, the skill damage factors and also all the buffs like uh, Lilia also has the same kind of buffs as, as uh, uh, Welin in terms of damage and generally I think Lilia and Welin is most used because whenever you are fighting in the war situation and you have a lot of legions uh, near by whenever you're attacking them you can deal damage to everybody uh, who is close to the legion you are attacking so like the best way for players to get merits in the game they are running Lilia and Welling and it's easy time especially if you are a pay to win player well of course Welling has other hero pairs the synergies and in my opinion one of the best free to play friendly hero pair is Waldir and Welling both of them are ice mages um, Waldir is like um, Lilia but free to play version like awakening skill of the Walder will deal damage to three nearby legions and of course like freeze gloom is debuffs which will apply to Welling's uh, awakening skill if you will ever awaken Welling it will be work it will work perfectly for your Welling awakening skill and you will deal deal 400 damage uh, every time you're gonna apply freeze uh, uh, from the Waldir, from the Welling itself, right? Uh, Waldir and Welling hero pair won't be the highest damage dealer in this game uh, if you are running them, but if you are a free-to-play player and you are not mage main, you will be, you will highly likely play Waldir and Welling if you don't have other uh, legendary mages such as uh, Bertrand and Dohar. Of course, Welling can be played with almost every single one, a single mage hero, like even Alwyn. Uh, you can run uh, Welling with the uh, Atheist. Uh, but I think the best synergies which Welling has is with Lilia and with Walder, and that's the uh, that's the that's why we are speaking more deeply about these two hero pairs. In terms of artifacts for Welling, well, as I have mentioned, I I see Welling as a more secondary uh, hero but still any mage artifact will be amazing for Welin, especially damage dealer artifacts such as phoenix eye uh, such as um, infernal blade such as such as mirage orb that's the beauty about Welin that you can equip any single mage artifact and it will be working pretty fine so we have <clears throat> diversified your options in terms of artifacts if you are playing Welin and you like the legendary hero, which I like a lot, and in the future I'm also planning to awaken Welin. Of course, the best choice for a free-to-play player is always to run Phoenix Eye, because you can get it from the normal pools, from the uh, Universal Artifact Compendium, but uh, in terms of uh, more of a pay-to-win styles, um, Infernal Flame is the highest damage dealer, and you can also run Infernal Flame with Lilia and put Welin as a secondary, and it's the highest damage you can do as a mage in my opinion uh, but still you can run infernal flame you can run a uh, mirage orb uh, you can run breath of the jargantis of uh, phoenix eye um, i think tier of arbon if you like want to play as a defensive style of mage and if you don't have any single legendary artifacts for mages the best option and best choice is magic bomb it's like a nerfed version of phoenix eye in my opinion way less skill damage factor but basically same kind of ability 
Uh, that's all about artifacts um, uh, and in general of course warpets are one of the uh, coolest uh, features in this game and still um, i'm gonna speak about warpets which will work perfectly fine with dwelling and in my opinion there is only two choices it's sapphire fair drake it's uh, shadow fair drake that's in my opinion two best uh, uh, mage um, warpets in the game um, i would like preferably to play sapphire fair drake with dwelling legion but if you somehow got shadow fair drake like me one star shadow hunter you will be playing with shadow fair drake and it will be totally fine of course main uh, talent system for both of the uh, warpets would be a follow-up synergy uh, because the follow-up synergy is in my opinion the best uh, uh, synergy skill for the warpets mage warpets especially right and of course some resonance uh, because of the skill damage magic skill damage factor uh, which sapphire fair drake is dealing will be good enough for me i think same kind of uh, skills will be will work for shadow fair drake um, uh, simply because i think that's the best way to build the mage warpet in general so that's my two choices choose whichever you like more so far i like myself a fair drake stats more and uh, that's why i have built this uh, drake to play with Waldy and well in um, hero pair uh, of course um, the availability of the well makes it more and more better for the later stages of the game uh, even if you are paid to win player or for to play player it's really really easy and one of the fastest legendary heroes you can awaken simply because uh, you are getting well in tokens from the gold chest of course you need to be lucky in order to get uh, especially like well in tokens but any legendary hero tokens you are getting from the gold chests is amazing for free to play players right because you are getting it from free by just playing the game so you can get well in from the gold chests uh, that's already a big plus and of course if you are rushing well in then this might be a correct move you will have your well in picked up in this uh, in this vip tokens and it will be much much faster for you to in general awaken a well in and uh, i think well in's awakening skill is not amazing is not bad it's just better than average uh, that's why i wanted to speak about well in general because uh, there was a pattern that uh, whenever new heroes came out they were hero pairs or uh, like at the same time and that hero pair was the best um, uh, in the game uh, and that narrative kind of changed because i think still the best mage hero pair is lilia and Welling. that's the highest damage dealers which i i can see during the battlefield uh, with the tier 4 players with the tier 5 players i think everybody is using Welling and uh, lilia with lilia especially and that's the main reason why i wanted to speak about that uh, legendary hero for a free to play players or in general mage mains if you are maining mages i think um, awakening well welling is in the same tier as for marksman awakening kinara simply because kinara is one of the best still one of the best legendary heroes for the marksman section in general and still one of the oldest ones and like let's not mention lilia because it's uh, for pay to win in terms of mages i see welling as the same type of legendary hero for mages like kinara is for marksman Kinara can be played for with um, Nico. Kinara can be played with Sindrion. Kinara can be played with Hosk. Well, same kind of uh, job, right? Well, Kinara is also be able to play with the Gwenwin, right? And Welling is kind of the same. Welling can be played with Waldir. Welling can be played with Lilia. Welling can be played with uh, Atheus, Alwyn, like any mage hero. That's why I think for free-to-play players, it's really important to understand to try to awaken the heroes, which will be played in the many different uh, hero pairs, so it will be useful for you. Uh, if I was a mage player, my number one choice would be to awaken Welling as fast as possible. Unfortunately, or it's good for me, I'm a marksman player and my choice was Kinara. But trust me, if I was mage, I would go for Welling. That's the main reason why I wanted to speak more and more about this legendary hero. Because sometimes when uh, you are playing this game for like more than one year and uh, you know that Welling is like more free to play accessible hero you don't take too much attention to the old heroes which in this game had and you are only looking forward for new and new heroes let's not forget this game has the great great uh, base heroes like uh, Welling, like 
like Inara, like Nico, I like Nico a lot, like Waldir, like Emery State, these are the base heroes of the Call of Dragons, and I think they need some more love in terms of community, because we understand that new heroes should be the better ones, better visuals, but I like the basic heroes uh, at the same rate as the new ones. Thanks for watching, I hope uh, this guide will be helpful for you in the future, if it's, it is, uh, press like, subscribe, share, it always gives me more and more motivation to make content for this game. Uh, thanks for watching, I hope you guys will have an amazing day, morning or night, wherever you are, bye bye and good luck.